a tapered hole in this case that has got an included angle of 20 degrees and is tested by means of a precision uh, steel ball of 10 millimeters in diameter as shown in fig one. All right, so this is the diagram that we're given on our precision measurement. Uh, so if you have to check, we are given uh, the diameter of 10 millimeters of the ball and we are given the top part there. That is, uh, we have got uh, the diameter of what? Uh, 10 millimeters. Then we have got an included angle of 20 degrees. Remember that the included angle, we always got this from two times alpha or two times A. Meaning to say we can find alpha by dividing this included angle, but how so? All right, we shall see that one. We are given refer to fig one and calculate the distance X for the wall to be machined accurately. And it was a 14 mark uh, question like that. It was 14 marks. All right, guys, let us see how do they want us to attempt these typical questions. Like, as you can see here, we just need to make further adjustments. We need to calculate X, this distance, as you can see, it's above, it's actually on top of this, like this. So we need this distance here. This is the distance that we want from here to here. That is our X. All right, so we have to consider a lot of things, uh, the whole part up to, up to the end, like what exactly do we, do we have there? All right, let us just make some further constructions uh, let us say I just continue with this line. Remember from your geometry, guys, remember from your geometry, I just hope they are going to meet at a certain point. Yes, they do meet. Do they meet? Yes, they do meet at a certain point like this. All right, so guys, now it's difficult for me to extend this one. See the problem, but they do meet at a certain point. Like if we join that, that is the idea there. All right, so this one, let us just put it this way at this point. So I want you to take note that by joining this, we can properly see how this 20 degrees is. So you see where the 20 degrees is coming from. So it's not like this, they are measuring here. No, they are measuring the angle. This, this is the angle they are measuring, say it's 20 degrees. So if you continue with this line down, it divides this angle into two equal parts. All right, so by just having uh this down here all right let me take this one if i just take it uh, from this point am i at the center point all right i'm at the center point up to this point let's just take it up to there okay we have taken this down like this all right it's actually starting from this point here we are going to notice something this is it here okay so are we noticing something here we are noticing that this angle from the properties of our tangent, this, this is a tangent, and we know that the two tangents from the external point of a circle, they are equal. And the second thing is that if a line is drawn from the center to the point where these two tangent, two tangent meet, it is going to bisect these two angles into two, these two angles into two equal parts. So, I mean, this angle into two equal parts. So if this whole angle was a 20 degree angle, it's gonna be bisected to bisect is to divide it by two. That means we've got a 10 degree angle and we also have a 10 degree angle here. That is the idea there. All right, this is not the major part, but as you can see that the X that we are supposed to calculate, it's a vertical line. We are considering about a vertical line. So let's think also along this vertical line, this one. How can we find X with this information that we have? All right, I want you to see something here. If I consider the whole of this distance, let, let, let us say we've got a point called A here, and I've got a point B, if I join here, this will be a right angle triangle A, B, up to C here, it's a right angle triangle, which is the same thing, I can call it A, uh, B, all right, I can call it A, B, C. This is the same, A is the same as this point A. So from A to B, A to B is the same. This distance is the same as this distance. All right, which is not a matter of fact for now. It's not a matter of worrying now. But what we need is that we can see that our X, because we want to formulate a distance along this line. This is where you're supposed to get your answer. So your X along the line, this is your X from here up to here. 
All right, this is where our X lies, this one, which is the same as from this point up to this point. That's where we have our X there. So let us just call uh, B, C. Uh, we can just call D, there's a point D that I also want E and also the center here. Uh, all right, so then if I join, I know that if I take a line from the center to the, to, I mean, from the center here to the tangent, which is a radius, a radius drawn to the tangent, it meets the tangent at what? At 90 degrees. So this is gonna be an important point. I'm just gonna call it D and also the center, uh, let me just call it E. So the same thing, if I want to do it, this side is the same thing. This is same as D, this uh, same side here. So it means I've got A, B, C, D, E. Let me just take this one as F. So F is B to F, this one, which represents X. So there's no need for me to write F. There is no need there, guys. All right. So let us consider, like I said, our vertical line, this one along the vertical line. Along the vertical line, it lies B to F, which is our X, the one that we want. It lies from F to E, which is the radius. Remember, the radius uh, from F to E, that is from the center, there is radius. And if the diameter is 10 millimeters, therefore the radius is gonna be 10 over two, which is five millimeters. So there I have got five millimeters, which is the radius FE which is the same as from E to D. It's a radius again from E to D, a radius drawn to the what? From center to the circle, center to the circle, only that we want it to reach the what? The tangent, that is what, what we only need there. So we have a radius. Also from this point E up to this point here, it is a radius. But this one, I'm not gonna talk about this. The reason that, that I'm not gonna talk about this is that, if we see what here just happened here, we are now at this point. Remember we said from B to F, now we are at what? At E. If you consider the wall of this line from E up to C like this, the wall of this line here, it is the one that is creating this right angle, the triangle. So we are going to consider it as a single line, the wall of this line, as a single. We are not going to separate it into a radius because here there's nothing to consider. You can't calculate this distance from nowhere, this one. There's no magic for us to find this one. So that is why we are limited there. So we have to take the wall of this line from a right angle track. It's either this way or it's either you're going to take it this way. That way, like I said, they are the same. So just use one part. So it means at the end, considering the vertical line, let's consider our vertical line and make this work. So considering our vertical line from the vertical line, from uh, the vertical line, which is our BC. BC is the vertical line from B to C. So from BC, we are going to see that BC is a combination of the everything along this line. It's a combination of what? From B to F, which is the X that we are supposed to calculate. So it is X plus from F to E, which is F to E is what? Is the radius. So we have got F to E there, which is our radius. And we have this. So it's a combination that we have. And from E to C, we are moving direct from E to C. Like I said, we have to take the whole of this because we can't use it separately up to this point. There's no way we can, uh, we're gonna calculate this or up to this point, there's no way we are limited there. So we take it as what, as E, C. So if we check what we need to calculate here is what is uh, radius. We have the radius already. So we need to calculate X, that is our question. This is what we are supposed to calculate. What about BC? BC, we need to calculate it because that is the combination of everything that we have there. All right, if you consider BC, we can calculate it, the whole of this. So this can be calculated. We have to find a way of calculating this. And what about EC? We also have to calculate EC. So we have the radius so far. This is what we are supposed to calculate and BC must be calculated. So how are you going to calculate BC? All right, that is why they gave us this top 
diameter that we're given of what? Of seven of 18 millimeters. If we divide this by two, it like I said before, this is equal from A to B, A to B. So if you divide 18, divide by two, it means you have got nine millimeters here. You also have nine millimeters there. So considering one part, just consider one part, you can take A, B up to C, back to A like that. It's a right angle triangle that we are forming there. So we are forming a right angle triangle. So to calculate BC, so to calculate BC, uh, to calculate, calculate uh, BC, we saw that we're gonna form a right angle triangle from ABC. So from triangle ABC, we've got something like this, triangle ABC, we are forming a right angle triangle. This is our A, this is our B, this is our C. So remember that we have got AB, which we said is nine millimeters from the radius there. So this is nine millimeters. All right. Now the part of our angle, it plays a role because we already we say this is angle, which is our, the wall is angle is included angle. So the included angle, it is playing a role there. We have to divide that one by two. So the angle that is inside here, we know that it's 10 degrees. So we can calculate BC. This is opposite. This is adjacent. So let us find BC. So from this, uh, the tan of theta, which is the tan of 10 degrees, is equal to the opposite, 9, over the adjacent, which is BC. So that's it. Cross multiply. Uh, BC tan 10 degrees is equal to 9. So you can divide by tan 10 degrees per sides. So if you divide by tan, 10 degrees both sides, divide by tan, 10 degrees both sides, we have got our, our BC. So nine divided by tan, uh, 10 degrees is gonna give us BC, which is 51.042 millimeters. Can you believe it's so big like this? All right, so we have got BC now on our formula. So let us go back to our formula here. We have got BC now. All right, we need EC. From E to C, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna work with triangle, this one, D, C, E, this side. Or it's either you're working from this side, you choose the side that you work best from. So it's up to you. So we're gonna calculate uh, that side. So this one, guys, I hope you knew. So how do we calculate this? So we're gonna need to calculate EC or CE, all right? So calculate, uh, we're gonna calculate uh, EC or CE. So to calculate EC is this one from our right angle triangle again, but it is right angled at D at the point of tangency. The tangent and what? Uh, the tangent and the circle. Uh, the radius, they meet at what? At 90 degrees. This is our radius. Remember, this is our radius. So we know that our radius is what? It's five. Guys, did I use five there on our... All right. Okay, that one was not a radius. This one was nine. Okay, I was like, guys, I made a mistake. Okay. So there we've got five, our radius. And the angle, remember, the angle does not change. It's 10 degrees. So this is, we are using triangle, triangle D, E, C from triangle DEC. All right, so that's it. This is D and this is your E and this is your C. Remember it is right angled at what? At D. So with this, we can calculate EC or CE, this one, because we have got an angle. This is opposite. The part that we want is the hypotenuse. So that's a sign there. We're gonna use the ratio of sine. The sine of theta, the sine of 10 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is five over the hypotenuse, which is the part that we want of EC. So we can cross multiply, then divide. So it's EC times the sine of 10 degrees is equal to five. So the moment that you divide by the sine of 10, this one, both sides, you are finding EC. So that EC is gonna be equal to five over sine 10, just like that. So that is the value of EC, we are done. So EC is going to be, if we divide, that was going to give us 
four millimeters. So that we have got our EC there. All right. So now let us take this into consideration. We, all right, we just, I, I, I removed my BC guys. I just hope you still remember the BC that we got. Remember our BC was 51.042. Now we just calculated EC and it gave us 28,794 millimeters. These are, these are the values. So with all these calculations made from our deck, we are going now to calculate the final value, which is the distance there that we are being asked of X because we have got everything along the vertical line. You consider the vert X, it lies along. If you are given something on the vet or the horizontal, deal with the horizontal. All right? So you work with what you're given there. What are you given? Sometimes they can even ask you to calculate the diameter given this distance. They can do that. So you have to be very, very careful. All right, so this is X, guys. We're going to substitute our values. Just make X the subject. We're going to transpose this side, uh, this side. So that means you remain with what? With X. So X is going to be BC, which was already on the left-hand side. Then if we transpose R, this side, our radius, it's going to be minus the radius. If we transpose this to the other side, it's going to be minus EC. There is only radius, one radius that we are subtracting there. So that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it there. So you're going to have X. So BC from B to C, the wall of that line. Remember, guys, that was our C there. The wall of that line is BC. We got it as what? 51.042 minus the radius. Uh, remember, the radius we already given. The diameter is 10 millimeters. So the, uh, the radius is going to be 5 if you divide by two, so that is five minus EC, which is the value that we obtained of EC, which is 28,794. These are in millimeters, these values. So it means also our X, which is the distance that you're given there is gonna be 17,248 also in, in millimeters. All right, so that is how they are expecting us to attempt these typical questions. You have to be very, very careful. Your construct is all about your construction. So mechanical techniques, it's your constructions and your mathematics. So geometry part, the mathematics, manipulation of formulas. We have seen that the manipulation of formulas, the use of formulas, that is mechanical techniques for you. So be someone who is equipped to know your mathematical calculations and also to know your geometry, the diagrams, how, how diagrams work, like, we don't need like to be like we are on the ground. No, we just need our geometry, our mathematical calculations. Then we are done. You can answer any type of a question. So these are the typical questions, guys, from Mesoamerican motives till we meet again.